Okay, hey guys. So today we're gonna talk about the nitrate reduction test. This is one of the tests that you would have done in lab. Um, and so what we're testing for in this test is the ability of your bacteria to take nitrates and reduce those either down to nitrites or all the way down to molecular nitrogen. Um, and so what happens in this test is we make the media and it has nitrates, which is NO3, already in the tube. We incubate for 24 to 48 hours and then um, we take the tube out and the first thing we do is we look if there is growth. If there's no growth in the tube, then we can't do the test. So if the bacteria grew, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna start adding some reagents to the test. You don't need to memorize the names of these reagents or what they are, you just need to remember we have nitrate reagent A and nitrate reagent B. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add five drops of nitrate reagent A and five drops of nitrate reagent B to our tube. If your bacteria is able to reduce nitrates down to nitrites with the help of the enzyme nitrate reductase, then the tube will turn red after we add the reagents A and B. If we add the reagents A and B and nothing happens, then we don't know if the bacteria has done nothing and we still have nitrates in the tube, or if it has gone through full reduction all the way down to molecular nitrogen. To determine that, we have to add zinc dust. So if we add reagents A and B and nothing happens, then we add just a little bit of zinc dust. When we add that zinc dust, zinc dust will force the reaction. It will turn nitrates into nitrites. So if you add zinc dust and you didn't do anything, you still have nitrates in the tube, what will happen is those, that nitrates will combine with the zinc and turn into NO2. And since you've already re added reagents A and B, the tube will turn red. If you add the zinc dust and you've done complete reduction, so you have molecular nitrogen in the tube and you add the zinc, nothing will happen because it only turns red if you still had the NO3 in the tube. So to summarize, we're going to grow these for 24 to 48 hours and we're looking for nitrate reduction. Your bacteria can either reduce nitrates to nitrites, can reduce nitrates all the way down to molecular nitrogen, or your bacteria can do nothing. If they reduce nitrates to nitrites. After adding reagents A and B, your tube will turn red. If after you add reagents A and B, nothing happens, you know you either did everything and have molecular nitrogen or did nothing and still have nitrates. So then you add zinc dust. When you add zinc dust, if there are nitrates still in the tube, the zinc will cause them to turn into nitrites. And since you already added A and B, your tube will then turn red and you know you did nothing. If you add the zinc dust and nothing happens, then you know that your bacteria completely reduce the nitrates all the way into molecular nitrogen. We will be releasing the results for the zinc test on Blackboard shortly.